situated near the tip of Africa, is where we're from, South Africa. Um, it's probably closer to Antarctica than it is the US, the UK or Europe. Uh, add to that uh, various levels of sanctions in the 60s and 70s, hardcore sanction in the 80s, which lasted 10 years, plus the conservative government. The birth of the alternative culture was more a trickle born out of rebellion a few years after the initial onslaught in the north. Despite political and social unrest and an economy that's never actually recovered, the advent of the internet brought an accessibility to the scene, which helped it grow. So we often get asked what the scene is like, and we've gone to the trenches to get the lowdown. And on screen, we've got Patrick Davidson, guitarist for Mind Assault, founder and creator for Metal for Africa. We've got John Morrow, from guitarist from Agro, and an independent reviewer. We've got Regan Dupasson, vocalist for Facing the Gallows, and Carlos Sanchez, vocalist for Deadline. And a wild blue Dupasson, he appears from The Drift, Nave, sorry, Knave, and MK Undergrund. Right, so similarly, Regan, you came into it a lot later than like John and the rest of us did, and you came in at a time when music was more accessible. So how did you find it, like, compared to how we found it? Um, I think, look, it was, it, was, it was super easy at the time, even just being kids. Like, we did, our, we did our, I guess, what everyone else did at some point, go into a show illegally like try to find your way in, take your buddy's ID. Um, we all had long hair, so we looked like we were old enough to fucking get in anyway. So we, uh, that, that, was, that, was, that was part of it for me. I, I think I went to my first club show when I was like 15 because I was like a tallish kid and I, I looked like a chick at the same time. So I don't think they cared. They were like, we need girls at the bar, so just come in. Um, but yeah, uh, then a lot of us were sharing, especially because there were so many, fuck man, MP3 players were around. So we were trading music a ton as well. And you never knew, like no one actually wanted to share their music. It was like, I downloaded this shit, it's mine, but you can listen to it when you're with me kind of thing. Like you can lend my MP3 player. And eventually guys started like, well, here's a couple of tracks and give me some of your tracks. And then we start learning about who's listening to what. So yeah, I don't know, man. It, it doesn't seem too different, but I think the fact that you said it was a lot more accessible to get so many uh, different artists or just be exposed to so many more different genres was probably a hell of a lot easier because that digital age was really picking up as well. Mm -hmm.